Hello friends, welcome to the continuation of videos about the development of the eye and this time we will be covering the development of the retina. So in the previous videos we have covered up to the development of the optic cup. In the first video, in the general discussion video, we have covered the development of the optic cup, a brief overview. We have studied that we have three layers and the third week we have got an ectoderm, a mesoderm and endoderm. Here is the cross section of that. We have studied that then appears the thickening of the ectoderm and it forms a neural plate. A groove appears in the neural plate and this groove as it is shown here it becomes deepened and finally the two layers, uh, the two lips of the ectoderm they meet one another and finally this tube gets inside and forms the neural tube as you can see here. So here is your neural tube at the caudal end whereas at the cephalic end this tube expands and from there we have studied that sulci the optic sulci appears in that and these optic sulci move laterally as it is shown here laterally and laterally and finally they reaches the surface ectoderm once they reaches the surface ectoderm they influence the surface ectoderm to get thickened and form the lens black coat as we have studied in the previous video then this invagination and finally it forms the lens uh, the development of lens is covered in the previous video here we will be just covering the development of the retina so now we have studied that uh, once it again once the invagination of the lens black coat occur also the invagination of the optic vesicle also occur and finally this invagination forms this type of optic cup this optic cup is formed now over here is your mature optic cup is the, the total optic cup that we can see over here now what happens next is that the anterior one uh, one or fifth part of the optic cup anterior one by fifth part of the optic cup it forms the iris and the ciliary body as we will see in the upcoming videos whereas the posterior four by five part the four out of five parts of the uh, optic cup this region this forms the retina now how it is formed you can see the optic cup is formed of two layers you can see here you have an inner layer as well as an outer layer now what happens to the outer layer that the outer layer uh, develops mel melanin pigments and once it develops the melanin pigments since it is a single layer of the cuboidal epithelium and it develops a melanin pigment so it's get converted into the pigmented epithelium of the retina whereas on the other hand the inner layer of the retina the inner layer as you can see this one layer so this darkly shaded layer this develops into the neuronal or neural retina so it develops the nerve fibers the rods and cones and all that stuff so it develops into the neural retina whereas the outer layer develops into the retinal pigment epithelium now the outer layer uh, once the choroid is formed as we will see in the next videos the choroid is formed from the mesenchyme so this will get tightly attached to that whereas the inner layer it is uh, not so much tightly attached to the our retinal pigment epithelium so this will be the site of the retinal detachment as you will um, as occur in the life so the retinal detachment occurs over here between the retinal pigment epithelium and the a neuronal uh, retina so this is the site of the retinal detachment that was all about the development of the retina please subscribe to our channel for the further upcoming videos thank you